Hey everybody, I'm Nate, and today is going to be one of those days. Uh, you ever have one of those days where there's something you really wanted to do and accomplish, and you got to do this other thing that you don't really like? So, today's that day for me. There's this thing I've been looking forward to and waiting on doing, and we finally got an opportunity to do it today. But to do that, I got to do this one thing that I don't like. And that one thing I don't like is right there. I got to wear shoes. I hate wearing shoes, not a big fan at all. But I think it's worth it today because today I'm putting the walls up on the Overlander. The uh, shop had a little break, so I'm gonna jump in and we're gonna get this done. I'm gonna set you guys up so you can see what's going on and uh, good, better, or worse, we're gonna put the walls up. See you in a bit. gonna go um, we're just about three hours and we got all the walls tacked up and trued and plumbed and squared and all those other words that you want when you are building a box uh, oops it's a curb so I am running back to my house I've got to grab the plans for the roof trusses I have forgot those this morning because it was early and I had not had enough coffee um, so I'm gonna grab those, we're gonna grab a quick bite to eat, and then uh, we'll put 
put those back on. And once everything's all tacked up and squared and trued and all that fun stuff, uh, including the roof, then we'll start the finish welding. And yeah, maybe we'll get that done today. I don't know, we'll see. We're gonna stitch weld probably like a three inch weld every foot um, all the way around in and out and fully weld the roof. So that should be that. I will uh, catch you guys after lunch. Laying out the roof plan here. The measure up on the big ladder. And uh, we're marking sheets of plywood centers. Got inch and three quarter inch tubing. Center there. So this is gonna end the sheet of plywood. 16 inch on center roof joists. pretty good day. We got a lot accomplished today. Um, actually a lot more than I thought we were gonna get accomplished because, I don't know, it just went together smooth. One of those things where we did enough pre-planning that it worked out. So, um, yeah, here she is. This is the front, driver's side over here, passenger side on that side, see your finished welds. Got this nice big, box opening. I think it's 18 by, I don't know, three feet. It's gonna have a door on that that'll open up, allow me access to the cabinetry inside. Um, bathroom up there, kitchen starts here. It's all the way over, couch in the back. Here's my door. Then I'll have fridge and more cabinetry up front. Bed in the back. Nice big opening up here between these two for big skylight slash hatch. And then I've got a big opening in the front for a couple roof vents. So this is my doorway right here between these two. And this you can see is that first slide of the slide out deck. So the ladder is gonna be able to attach here. So you can go straight up to the door if you're in something super tight, or you'll be able to pull this tray out a little bit and you'll be able to access it from the back going up to the door, or you can put the ladder on the other side, access it this way. And then here's the other two slots for that slide out deck. So all three of those will combine, come all the way out to this bench and then some to make that big deck in the back. And uh, here's the rear, nice high upper window. So when the bed drops down, I have a window uh, that can open next to the bed, as well as those two side windows those will be partially blocked when the bed is down in the sleeping position. Um, but you can still reach over and open them and get a nice little cross breeze. When the bed is up, it's going to be up above those windows. And uh, the back of the sofa is going to come right below the window there. And nice big kitchen window. And I actually kind of really like how the scale of all this turned out. So I'm six feet tall. And uh, you can see I've got enough headroom in here, plenty of room. I was a little concerned about the bed in the back, lower than I wanted, but I think it's gonna be good um, all around. It's a great compromise for what we've got. So plenty of headroom here. Still have a little bit of flooring to put in. So I'll lose a little bit there between the ceiling and the floor. This is the kitchen window. So you're standing here at the sink. Have a nice view of what's out and down below you. Um, and then back in the back, on these windows, 
when you're sitting down, you'll have a nice view out. Yeah, you'll have some privacy from people walking up because it won't be too close. And then you'll also have a nice um, view of the sky from back here as you're sitting down. Um, I am going to add a window on my door. I wasn't gonna have one, but I figured it's not gonna hurt. So I'm gonna put another window here in the door, pretty good size and have it open in and out. Same, just an Arctic turn. And then in the bathroom, somewhere over here, I'm gonna have a roof vent, but I'm also gonna put a window in one of these three bays over here. I'm not quite sure which one, probably the center one because the front will be shower. So it'll probably be just outside the shower. I don't know, figure that one out later, but I gotta order up those windows and frame those in. And um, other than that, that's it. I'm pretty excited about our progress today. Tomorrow morning, um, we'll come in and we'll finish all the welding on the outside. And I gotta lay out like where I want the roof trusses up here to go this way. So I could have to locate my vent in the front and the hatch in the back, weld all those in, and then I can uh, skin the outside and start building in on the box. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and uh, we'll talk to you guys later.